Yo, what up, Alpha Stags fam? Today, you're going to learn some great back exercises that, guess what? You don't need any equipment for, so stay tuned. All right, so here we got one of my favorite no equipment back exercises. This is an inverted row, and it can be done. All you need is a table, pretty much, and who doesn't have access to a table? So the level one way to do it, in other words, the easier way, would be to do it with your knees bent. And let's say once you're able to get 20 to 30 reps of that um, with good clean form, then you can probably move on to straightening your knees out, which will actually make it much harder, and then you can work up from there. So this exercise targets the muscles of um, the back, it targets the lats, it targets the rear deltoids, it focuses on the forms, the brachialis, the brachioradialis, and the biceps. So now we'll get on to our next exercise. Right here we got, oh my gosh, an awesome one. So have you ever heard of something called the rotator cuffs? The rotator cuffs are a group of muscles that help stabilize the shoulder. So the shoulder is an incredibly powerful muscle. Most people don't even realize this. If you're holding a 10 pound dumbbell out at your side at a 90 degree angle with your arm straight, your shoulder muscle, your deltoid, has to create 300 pounds of force just to hold up that 10 pound dumbbell. It's crazy. So if your shoulders didn't have something to counterbalance all that force, it would pull your arm bone right out of the socket. So that's where the rotator cuffs come in. They help really center the, the humerus, which is the upper arm bone, inside the glenohumeral, which is the, the glenohumeral socket, which is the socket of the shoulder joint. So this exercise right here is absolutely phenomenal for um, training the rotator cuffs and keeping great for shoulder health, also great for posture, and great for the rear deltoids specifically. Um, it also puts a big focus on the rhomboids and the middle, um, the middle traps as well. Also, I think some focus on the lower traps too. This one that we got right here is an absolute monster of an exercise especially great for injury prevention because in our shoulders there tends to be a lot of general instability especially in the muscles of our posterior and this is something that really gets a lot of those weak links in just one nice movement and it's a big plus if you want when you want to do this to squeeze your glutes and squeeze your quads get some extra stability work in there and we'll show, we'll show a few more variations of this exercise so this variation tends to focus a bit more on the rotator cuffs and um, you can kind of really play around with it um, as you'll see in a few seconds. What we'll do is a version where we're lifting our hands just straight up and down like this. If you want to solely isolate the rotator cuffs and the rear delts and the rhomboids and the traps. And if you really want to target the lower traps, you bring your hands up and then you do it. All right, so that's it right there. Just a quick little video, because I know finding back exercises to do without any equipment is just really hard to find online. So hopefully you, you found some value in this. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then what you can do is share this with a friend, drop a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. That way the algorithm picks up on it and it'll show this video to more people. And one more thing, I hope you all have a phenomenal day. Peace out.